This video will cover how to create project websites for your teams. First thing to do is to log in. Let's go to the login tab and enter your username or email and your password. This will bring you to the projects page. This will display all the various projects that you've created. From here, you can also go over to your name, log out. To visit the site, go over to EnergyWiz and choose visit site. To get back to the administrative dashboard, just click on EnergyWiz in the top left. From here, you could also get to the store by going to EnergyWiz Visit Store. The store you see when you visit here contains all of the items available. That's for both the in-person and the virtual. So be sure you know which one you're purchasing. We can get back to our dashboard by going back to EnergyWiz and Dashboard. Currently, I don't have any projects. So I can create a new one by clicking on Add New next to the projects. So this is a blank project. You can see it has no title. So that's one of the things you'll want to do first off is click on it and give it a title. The title would be the name of your car if you're doing Junior Solar Sprint or the name of your team if you're in one of the other competitions. After you've created a name for your project, you want to focus on the project section on the right hand side. This has a number of tabs that you can expand and these need to be completed to give the properties to your project's site. So for instance, divisions. Choose a division that your team is a part of. You can notice that there is both grade-based ones, for instance, middle school, high school, K-2, but also orange, red, and yellow. These ones refer to the solar cook-off divisions. And also there's green and blue. Those relate to junior solar sprint. So for instance, if I was creating an energy transfer machine project uh, and I had middle school six to eight, I would check that. And that would then save that setting with my project. And close that up. Same thing for the schools. You would expand the school and your school name should be here. If it's not, then send Penny an email. Her address is listed below, and she'll add your school to the list. So let's say that I'm from Central Middle, and close that. You'll want to go through all of these and complete them. If you don't know what, for instance, the team size is just yet, you can always change it later. Any of these you can actually change at a later point. Let's say mine's three. Go through the event locations. Is this at Coco or is it a virtual one? Well, let's say that this is the virtual event and the competition. Well, like I said before, this is going to be an energy transfer machine. But if you were competing in one of the other competitions, you would check that. Type of animal is obviously only applicable to a Critter Comfort Cottage, but you could expand this and choose the animal that you will be creating a cottage for. Uh, if your animal is not listed here, send Penny an email and she can add it to the list. And then featured image. This is very important. It is the image that you will see when your project is displayed on the page that lists all of the other projects. So for instance, here you can see how it's got the image at the top. This is what the featured image is going to go in. So if I were to click on here, it will bring me to this screen, which allows me to upload an image or grab one from the media library. Now, with this team, I haven't uploaded any images yet, so there's nothing to choose from. So I can go ahead and select some files to upload. So let's say, for instance, that I wanted to use this image here for my featured image. I could then click on Open. It uploads it. Then I can just check Set Featured Image. Let's say we wanted to add an image to this. Well, we can go to the plus, either up at the top left or the plus near the actual block and click on the plus symbol and then choose image. We could either upload or choose from the media library. Even if I choose media library, I could still upload files from here. So I'll select some images. So here's a number of images that I'm uploading. 
I might not necessarily use all of them, but I'm uploading them just in case. Depending upon your internet connection, your upload might take a little bit of time. After my files have been uploaded, I can choose the image that I want to insert into the page. You can change the size of it by using the handles on the side, add a caption, You could also decide how the image gets placed on the page, whether it fit aligns to the left, center, right, takes up the whole width. It's your choice. If you want to change the order of your blocks, you can always click on it and then use these controls here to move a block up or down. If we go and click on this W in the top left, this will bring us back to the administrative section where we have our projects. You can see that the name of the project is right here, along with all the details we entered in on the right-hand side. Now, if I wanted to add a video to this post, the first thing I want to do is upload the video. And to do that, we go to Media and choose Vimeo. This will allow you to upload your video into our own Vimeo account. With this method, you won't have to have your own YouTube or Vimeo account. And in the future, we don't have to worry about videos being deleted by their users. Uh, this will allow for projects to stay as they were when they were first created. So here you can see that I have no videos uploaded yet. So I'll click on Upload New. Then I'll choose the file. I have a short test video. I'll click Open. I can give it a title, add a description, then click on Upload. The progress will be shown here, and depending upon the file size of your video, it might take a while. When it's finished, it'll say that the video was uploaded successfully, and now we can go back to the library. Now that this video has been uploaded, you can see it listed in my list of videos. To get this embedded into a project page, hover over the title and you'll see Manage and Vimeo Link. If you click on Vimeo Link, this will open up a new tab bringing you to that video on Vimeo. From here, you can copy the URL. So just select it and then press Edit Copy or Control C. Go back to your project page by clicking on the projects and then edit. In order to embed a video, what we would do is just create a new paragraph block and paste in the link. It'll automatically notice that it is a link to a video and it will show it. The video can be manipulated just like any other block. It has some properties that you can edit and you can also move it around using these arrows.